Hey guys, what's going on? It's the Lemon King back here for another redstone tutorial, and today I'll be showing you how to make a semi-automatic chicken farm. But first, let me just introduce these two to you guys. If you haven't seen these videos, I suggest going and checking them out below. It is a advanced minecart system for storage containment that is fully functional. And also another storage containment unit is my hopper storage containment unit, which is a little bit easier to build. And it is also fully functional. Bam. But today we'll be doing a semi-automatic chicken farm. So let's get our materials out here. First we're going to need... 12 hoppers. 12 hoppers. You're going to need one comparator. One redstone torch. A lever. Two dispensers, one fence gate, one chest, one flint and steel, wherever the heck that thing is, and a 64 plus block of your choice. Now I'll be building it out of. Mm, We'll use regular wood for this one, but also it is it looks a lot nicer when you decorate it, so we might do some decorating at the very end. But yeah, let's just make some room, and we'll, I guess we'll build it right here, and let's hop on and get started. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is build a 5x5 five five block with three high pillars in the corners. So for instance, if this is your first corner, you want to go 1, 2, 3. You want to make sure it's 5, so you want to leave three spaces in the middle. In your next corner, put 1, 2, Three, leave three, one, two, three, and right here, one, two, three. So like that. And then you want to go to the front of your chicken harvester, and you want to put down your chest that will have all the stuff going into it. Then you want to shift click and attach a hopper to this, like all the way back to this block here. Do not go back into the where the wall will be. But that is what you want to do there, and then what you want to do on the sides, have hoppers going into those hoppers, so that they all are facing inward, so that if any, like, if any chicken or feathers drop into these ones, they'll funnel into here and go down to here. Next thing you want to do, just for interior decorating design, is put down a base around the bottom. You can also put a floor underneath it and all such. But it, this definitely will look really nice once I finish with the design. Alright, so one thing I had to do here is I forgot that the fire is used to kill chickens. So wood would not work in this project. So I just changed out and put some chisel, uh, whatever they're called, the bricks, the stupid chiseled bricks here. I put some pink clay and then I put some blue, gra blue <coughs> stained glass around the outside so make sure that you do not use wood because wood and fire don't really mix that well so yeah let's move on to the next part alright so the next step you want to do is go to the right of your design <clears throat> skip a block and then right here you want to build a three high again and then when you're going backwards skip a block and go up three high again. Now you want to do is fill this in like that. Like so. Then on this very top block right here is where you want your lever to go. And then on the back of this top block, you want to put in a redstone torch. Alright then. So what you want to do is go inside and break this. Oh boy, breaking everything. Break that piece of glass and throw in a dispenser that would fire into the pen. And then we'll just go up top here. We want to place a block above that redstone torch and then decorate the outside. Just to make it look fancy, we'll do that. So when that happens, It'll be activation and death of all the chickens in the world. 
All right, so next up you want to do is fill up this top layer here with any block of your choice. I'm going to use a half slab for this purpose. Um, it does not matter if it's half slab or a full block. However, I'm going to use a half slab because it'll look nicer looking into it. Then once you have it filled up, break this inside block so that can have the tube with the chickens coming into it. And you want to make a clock. You have to make a hopper clock. So what you have to do is place a hopper going into this block. And then what you want to do is shift, have a hopper going into that, and then you want to go over here, break this hopper, and shift, have a hopper going into that. So it should look like that. So if I just leave this lever turned off, I drop some in, it should just spit it back out. If I turn it off, what should happen, if I throw it in, it should keep coming in, out, in, out, and work as a clock. So that is what you want that to look like at the top. Now let's move on to the next step. Alright, so now we're going to set up the next step. First thing you want to do is break this block here because you're going to need it to get out because you're going to be inside the thing. You don't want to get stuck in there. So what you want to do is get on top of this hopper, get your comparator, and face it away from the block. And that is done with the comparator. Alright, so the next thing you want to do is put in your random block. We'll just use that one into there and then when you flick this down and throw it in there it should go on and off setting the signal to fire repeatedly. So what I'm going to do is you're going to need your dispenser and you have to get this dispenser to face downward. So what I'm going to do is try to get in this middle hopper get in the middle hopper and have this face down so the dispenser is pointing right at you. Then you want to hop back out, and then you need to place your fence gate on top of the dispenser. So what you need to do is shift and put a block on that, throw your fence gate under here, and open it, and then break the block. Now what should happen is when it fires eggs down there, they should hit off the fence gate and break. Now with the new Minecraft update, I do not know if that will happen. It still should. But when they fire off an open fence gate, like, you, it should, because if it hits the hopper, it's going to go, I don't know if it'll go in the hopper or not, but when it breaks out the fence gate, it'll drop the chicken down into there. So I do not know if it'll work, but it should still work, hopefully. And, yeah, now we're ready to move on to the next step. All right now we're going to close up this gap, and now we're going to move on to building up the middle bit. So what I'm going to do just to hide the thing is go one, two, three three, four, five up. Now this can be done many different ways. You do not have to hide this. Some people just go up five or four from here, up four here, four here, four here. I'm just going to go up from the ends just to hide the thing. And let me just do this quickly. It shouldn't take too long. Okay, so now what we want to do is on here anyway. Go up one, two, three. Ah, yeah, let's do this. Make it a lot easier. And break stuff apart. Because you could do that to make it look nicer, but because this comparator goes around. Go up five. You want to get inside here and place a hopper going into this dispenser. Fill up the layers with whatever block you want. And if you want, you could add. Uh, what color was it? It was regular blue. I got it wrong. Blue. Put some whatever color glass you want in here. It doesn't need to be five blocks high. It can be four blocks out one layer of glass. And then coat this at the top. So now what you want to do is start getting your chickens into here. <laughs> um, and the fun part about this is if you're in regular mode, 
Which one's a chicken? That one's a chicken. For regular game mode, you have to get your chickens into there somehow. So that's up to you how you're going to figure that out. Just fire as many chickens as you want into the gap. I'll pause the recording until I get to the right amount. Alright, so I put a lot of chickens into the app there. And what they should do is drop eggs, throws into the dispenser, fires it down. Now what we want to do is break the center glass, go into the dispenser, and place your flint and steel. So when activated, it should light off the fire. I'll be at, I'll be right back. All right, so the last thing I want to do is before doing anything else, throw in whatever item you want. You'll flash this. So that if they do, if those drop any eggs, they'll get fired down into soup. So now we're gonna decorate it while this thing runs its course. So let's just hide up the stuff here so that we don't see it. There's many other ways you could decorate this, probably better than this, but I'm just doing the quickest version of it. it does make a lot of noise. But yeah, for test examples, what we'll do is just... Bad chicken. Bad chicken. Get back here, chicken. You're not escaping my grass. Get back. Back, I see. Yeah. We got chicken. What you should do is light it up. And what you could do is leave this, technically leave this running. First off, turn that down. Second off, get that out of there. You can technically leave this running. Obviously, there'd be more chickens here. Yeah, you want to turn it off and drop the chickens in. And if they cook, drop you the cooked chicken and their feathers. So the hardest part to think about this is trying to get the chickens into the hole. But if you can do that, you will have your semi-automatic chicken farm. So hopefully. This was helpful to you guys, and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please remember to leave a like. It would be greatly appreciated. As well as comment down below what other things you would like to see. And subscribing would also be greatly appreciated. Give me some support here. And show that you like my content and you want to see more of it. And that is about it. So thank you guys for watching. And uh, we'll see. Oh, whoa. What the heck is this? I'm like dropping these random blocks that's taking the blocks and turning it into coal. What the heck? Must investigate. I, I would I would close off right now, but this this is just This is just weird. Okay, put in a block into here. It's here. That is weird because there is no Look at this! 
There's like no coal anywhere. I checked through the whole thing. There's no coal in it. This is creepy. And that one doesn't even grow up anything because I didn't use it. And this is weird. I should put three iron into this. You drop three iron. Doesn't give me anything else. Give me a chest. Press the diamond. Spits out eight diamond. What's gonna do now? It's gonna spit out the clay. Yeah. Where's all this coal being stored at? that one. Yeah, there's just a bunch of coal sitting now, so I was wondering, I was like, what the heck is going on here? I thought it was some kind of glitch where it would just give me infinite amount of sources, because that was strange. Well, anyway, guys, uh, yeah, that, that's it. That, that's, uh, that's where we're going to end. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and please remember to leave a like and subscribe. I will see all of you guys in the next episode and have fun with your amazing chicken farm watch them burn <laughs>